Brother Benjamin attempting to talk about his encounter with Brother Johnny, take four. Um, today, um, I'm going to still call it today because I haven't been asleep yet. It's about four o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. At, and um, I'm going to put up this video and I just wanted to give a little bit of context. Um, this is unique. Um, even though I believe we're supposed to be uh, supernatural beings or naturally spiritual and spiritually natural that these coincidences synchronicities oh my god somebody just said that earlier oh my god i was just talking that shit's happening all the time for a lot of us but on certain certain times if we're being led and we're flowing and we're not allowing um, the matrix to dictate our movements we will run into family <laughs> people that are different and move like us and our bold people and so when I was in the mall today sending off a bunch of sea moss uh, I was eating my chicken uh, talking to my daughter on this tripod sitting on a table and just eating getting ready to send off some tracking numbers and I heard this brother speak to somebody who was kind of loud and he talked about oh you do you want me to shout his name from the mountaintops I'll shout it you know what I'm saying and then you know so I'm kind of hearing him you know and then and he wasn't necessarily close and then i see him you know kind of engage with some other people and i just I noticed his boldness and so i you know i left my things and i went over and asked him is it all right if we have a conversation on camera and he kind of like you can see he wasn't too you know i might have you know said i kind of do what he does too and he was like all right so i just pew, came over got my thing sat down set up the camera and this is what you say i didn't even introduce myself so this is what you see hi they call me brother benjamin how you doing brother Bre brother benjamin my name is johnny b triplin jr deacon johnny b triplin jr uh, i am impressed i'm impressed that you came over here <laughs> after after i had to testify yeah and speak boldly yeah. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. that when you heard me, yeah. I was willing to yeah. shout his name. Yes, I know from you the were. <laughs> top. I was willing to shout his name. I know you were. I know you were. And what what really comes to mind is 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 one of the people just like me and you, Hezekiah. Mm -hmm. Hezekiah just. People just like me going about his business. And the fact that it was time for him to die. And Isaiah came to him and told him, the Lord told him, Isaiah being a prophet, and the Lord told him, Hezekiah, today you will die. Just let that sink in. Your brother came to you and told you today, the Lord told me to tell you that you will die. You let that sink in, you let that digest. And, and so Hezekiah turned to the wall and went to pray. Hezekiah went to praying for 15 more years. Hezekiah didn't want to die. But Isaiah came to him and told him, the Lord told me to tell you, you're going to die today. So he faced the wall and went to praying. Hezekiah was praying so hard that the Lord sent a message down to Isaiah, the prophet, and told Hezekiah, I hear your prayer. While Hezekiah was still praying, facing the wall, and, and Isaiah, the prophet, went to Hezekiah and said, Hezekiah, those 15 years that you've been praying to the Lord continuously has been granted. While he was still praying. So there's no way Hezekiah, there's no way Isaiah would know no, what Hezekiah was praying about. See, see that's that's the Lord right there. Yeah. That's the Lord. It, it, it just brings agitation yeah. to the belly of those who don't want to hear. Yeah. 
wow. the goodness of the Lord. Wow. So, so we're doing something right. Wow. So the point is, your prayers bring about a change. Right. Right. And that's, that's a given proof that if you could be sitting here praying right now in the name of the Lord, and someone that's carrying your anointing, understand how important it is for someone to carry your anointing and I'm talking about Samuel was carrying David King David anointing when he came to Jesse Jesse is Samuel's Jesse is the King David father this is before before David has been anointed by King but the Lord gave Samuel, King David, anointed to carry this anointing to Jesse's house with the base of oil. And so you, you know, nobody never said it that way. It's people carrying your anointing. Now, are they going to bring it to you? That's the question. He did bring it to Jesse out, and you know how the story went. You know, Jesse went through all his big son, got about his his son out there shepherding the sheep, and already killed the lion, and already killed the bear. And when Samuel said, "Is this it?" Jesse remembered, and he was poured, he poured that oil. Now. When you have an anointing, the oil is not going to pour unless that anointing is on that anointing because the heat from that anointing is going to, it's like, it's like candles. It'll melt. The heat will melt it and it'll pour. So if you're not the one with the anointing, it's not going to pour. So when King David came and he, and he put the face over his head, the heat yeah, it's, it's, from King David's head had the oil pour down and run down like it ran down Aaron's beard. I think I think about that because you never know. You never know who was entertaining. You never know who was ear hustling or ear tickling in ear distance. I tickled your ear, but it's not for tickling. It's for speaking the truth truth of the word to lift you and whoever in your distance so you have to be very careful that you is meticulous in everything you say because it's all about it's all about building relationships you got to build a relationship you got to find who the builders in your relationship because you are a builder, I'm a builder. And we cannot achieve anything unless we build together. Mm. See what I'm saying? So you have to know who's equally yoked. Mm. And you find yourself wasting a lot of time. Because you got to ask yourself every morning, what kind of soul I'm going to be? Look in the mirror, you walk away from the mirror, you forgot what you see in that mirror. You forgot what you see. So you ask yourself, who am I, Lord? Same thing when Samuel and Elijah, you know, Hannah gave Samuel away to, to Eli. And you know how long his mama prayed before she had Samuel? She kept going to the synagogue, praying every day for a son. She was up in age. And, and the Lord was hearing our prayer. And finally he said, I got you. Said that. And she promised that she would give her child back to the Lord. That's how she gave it back to you.